Welcome to the Adidas School of Business. Welcome to the Adidas School of Business. Today's lesson, how to launch a new product. Step one, unveil a cool product that everybody wants. Step two, don't, don't sell it to them, ever. What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss why the Adidas glitch is such a big fail. It's the one boot that everybody wants, but only very few can actually buy. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to support it with a like. And if you're new here watching for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. For those that don't know, this is the Adidas glitch. Aside from looking very cool, the cool aspect of this shoe that draws so many people to it is the fact that it's made up of interchangeable pieces, two pieces to be exact, the upper called the outer skin and the inside bit which makes up for the liner and the sole plate called the inner shoe. The two parts come attached from each other, they're interchangeable so you can swap out the liners, you can swap out the uppers, you can make a low cut, you can make a mid cut, it's completely up to you. It's still expensive but you can buy the inner shoe or the upper which is going to be cheaper to replace rather than an entire $300 shoe as you'd normally be paying with a lot of top end models, at least with the Adidas brand. Now, if you've never seen the Adidas glitch before, you probably just saw that and thought to yourself, hey, those are pretty cool looking shoes. That's a really cool concept. I'd like a pair for myself. Well, guess what? You can't have them unless you live in France, Munich, Germany, or London, England, because outside of those areas, you cannot buy these, which is why the Adidas glitch is such a major fail. So the Adidas glitch has been out for a year and a half now. The process of getting a pair is kind of complicated in itself. You have to order it on your phone using the Adidas glitch app. And on that application, you can't just go and straight up buy a pair. You have to have a glitch code, which originally when the shoes came out were given out to certain people to give out to others to actually buy the Adidas glitch. And then those people that bought the Adidas glitch would also glitch, get glitch codes themselves, give them to their friends who wanted the Adidas glitch and then everyone would buy them from there. So you have to get a glitch code. I'm not sure if that is still the case, but that was the whole general concept. It was kind of like an inside club to get this exclusive Adidas glitch shoe. Now when it first came out for basically the first six months, maybe a year, it seemed like a very long time, you could only get them if you were in London, England through the Adidas glitch app. Then they expanded to Munich, Germany. Now they've expanded to France as well. So in three places out of the entire world, using the Adidas glitch app with a glitch code, you can buy the Adidas glitch. What about everyone else? Well, when Adidas first introduced this concept, we kind of got the general impression, at least it was my general impression, that it would expand from city to city, maybe one new city every single month throughout the entire world, and then eventually be available to absolutely everyone. Given the hype and demand around this product, that seemed like the logical thing to do, but that has not been the case at all. Now, you might be asking yourself, as I've been asking myself for the last year or so, why is Adidas doing this? And the simple answer to that question is, I don't know. That's why I think this is such a big fail. Adidas is a brand that not too long ago was not having any success in the football boot market. They basically had to scrap their entire lineup, introduce an X, Ace, and Messi line. It's evolved a lot over the years. And just now they're starting to regain some traction as far as success is concerned with a lot of the new technologies that they've been introducing to market. The whole laceless thing, I think has really sparked a lot of interest within the Adidas brand. The Adidas glitch is not only laceless, which is very popular right now, it has interchangeable pieces, which you're not gonna find from any other boot at the moment. So those two elements alone, along with the fact that it's a very cool looking shoe, I will admit that, makes a lot of people want to buy them. Now I will say that the Adidas glitch as a whole, personally, I don't think it's a very good shoe. It's basically the X17 plus pure speed, pretty well the same upper, pretty well the same internal liner, but of course the parts are inter interchangeable. You can remove the inside and of course it's laceless, but when compared to the pure speed, it doesn't fit as well. It's not as responsive. The lockdown's not as good. It's a lot stiffer and it weighs significantly more as well. An Adidas glitch in a size nine US is gonna be pushing about 11 ounces, making them heavier than a pair of Copa Mundial. So while it might look like a speed boot, it certainly does not feel like a speed boot. So from a performance perspective, what is available to everybody is actually a better product, but that's besides the point. Now I'll give Adidas credit where it's due. They've created a very unique product and they've maintained hype around that product through different colorway releases over a year and a half, which is very hard to do in the modern football boot market. 
but it's not available to everybody, which seems strange. Now, this is not a limited edition release, so don't get that confused. It's not like the Flying It Ultra, where it's 2,000 pairs, they sell out, and then they move on to the next thing. Those are products that release not so much to make money, but more so just to generate hype and interest around the brand, whether it's for a new colorway or a new model that is going to be released and be available to everybody. In the case of the Adidas Glitch, you can go on the Glitch app, and if you live in France, Munich, or London, you can basically buy any of the colorways that have been available none of them are selling out none of them are necessarily limited edition so the fact that they're kind of just keeping the adidas glitch to this small exclusive club within these three countries in the world or these three places in the world just seems really, really strange to me given the amount of interest that they've generated after a year and a half. Now, it is entirely possible that the Adidas Glitch will finally get a full worldwide release, but I think given the fact that this has been out for a year and a half, makes that more and more unlikely. If they were gonna do that, they would have done it by now. Consider what the modern soccer cleat market has become over the last 10 years. Basically, the longest life cycle you'll find for any model is gonna be two years, and that's typically Nike. Adidas has been running on like a nine to 12 month life cycle for each generation of boots. So this is already past the average life cycle for an Adidas branded boot. And yes, the Adidas glitch with different colorways, they've had different upper variations as well, but for the most part, the shoe remains unchanged from the original variation that released a full year and a half ago. So what I think is more likely than a full public release is actually a glitch 2.0, but then that leads to other problems considering that the reason that the glitch even exists in the first place, what makes it a cool concept, is that all the parts are interchangeable. So if they make significant changes in the glitch 2.0, does that mean that the 1.0 components aren't gonna work with the 2.0 components? And if they do work together, then are they actually gonna sell a lot of glitch 2.0s? Because it would have to be pretty similar to the original for all the parts to work together. So it's a cool concept, but it does become problematic aside from just creating new colorways in regards to how they're gonna progress in terms of, I guess, not necessarily developing, but more so, I guess, changing what the shoe is because people will eventually get sick of the original variation of the Adidas Glitch. Something new eventually has to come out. So if they do release into the public now, it's entirely possible that the amount of time people would actually be interested in them would be very, very short, which wouldn't be a good thing either. So basically what Adidas has done, in my opinion, is they've created a very cool product that might not be the best performance wise, but that's besides the point. People would actually buy this if it was available to them. They have not made it available to those people that want to buy it, at least not all of them, the vast majority you might say. And they've done that for so long that even if they were to release it now, the shelf life and general interest around something like this, because it is now a year and a half old, people want to move on to the next new thing, it might be too little too late for them with the Adidas Glitch. So what's going to happen with the future of this model? I'm very curious to see, but in my opinion, I think they might have missed their chance to really have this particular shoe explode. Not, not like the Under Armour ones though. Also, for those that will ask, if you really do want a pair of Adidas glitches and you don't live in Munich, France, or London, your best bet is to go on eBay and buy them from somebody who has bought them off the Adidas glitch app and is now reselling them. Keep in mind, the vast majority of people doing that are actually looking to get more than retail because they know you can't go and buy them yourself. Also keep in mind that you're gonna have to pay international shipping if you're in the US especially because they're only gonna come out of London, Germany, or France. Also keep in mind that there are plenty of fake ones out there. These are an example, and trust me when I say that they are really bad. You don't wanna pay resale prices for fake glitches, so just be very, very careful. Anyways guys, those are my opinions on this situation. Let me know yours down below in the comments. If you have any questions for me at all, leave those down below as well, and I'll definitely do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.